Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is February 13th, 2017. We're on Hilton Head Island today in Windmill Harbor to see number 35 Cross Tree Drive, the home that you see in front of you with the Charleston architecture, the stucco exterior, multiple porches. We're gonna walk through it, see what you think, see if it could possibly be for you. It's listed with the Simon Group for $465,000 by Windmill Harbor standards, and uh, that's a real good deal. Uh, we'll talk more about that in just a moment, but this home has 1,897 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a single car garage, a lagoon view, and you're just a short walk over to the marina. Windmill Harbor is only one of a very few uh, marina communities on the entire East Coast that has a lock system, one of two here on Hilton Head Island. And it's also the home of the South Carolina Yacht Club. There's a beautiful tennis club here, uh, a community swimming pool. People love Windmill Harbor. Let's just take a quick look along Cross Tree Drive and you see you have these Charleston style homes here and the annual HOA fee here in Windmill Harbor by the way for 2017 is two thousand seven hundred and thirty six dollars I'm showing you this as a buyer's agent ladies and gentlemen and again my name is Richard Kadish it's K-A-D E-S-C-H, and I'm the owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, as in Gated Communities, and I'm the Gated Community Specialist. And both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered tra trademarks, and yes, Windmill Harbor is a gated community with a 24-hour guarded security entrance. Well, let's get straight to it. Let's walk through this home that was built in 1995, but it has improvements and upgrades that I think you're going to like. Very warm interior, has a fireplace, has new windows and a new roof in 2016. There's some new floor covering in here. There's a lovely garden. And how about this entrance? Charleston style entrance across the front porch complete with rocking chairs although they're not included I suppose they could be negotiable we have a real wood ceiling out here and the home looks to be in excellent condition our entrance has our living room dining and kitchen off to the left our master bedroom is at the front and on the first floor and we have two bedrooms upstairs with a walk-in attic the furniture is not included this is actually owner occupied and we have a beautiful wood floor We'll take a little bit closer look at all of this as we walk through. High flat ceilings, beautiful light fixtures. This would be an ideal home for someone who is, uh, has a boat as an example. Uh, people love Windmill Harbor who have the boats. It's the home of the South Carolina Yacht Club, although that is a optional and separate membership. Windmill Harbor is actually three homeowner groups, I guess you could say, you have, or three membership, separate membership groups. You have the Homeowners Association itself, of which this home is an automatic member, enjoying all the tennis, the swimming, the exterior grounds and so forth, the security. And then you have the Yacht Club, which has separate membership. And then finally, you have the actual boat owners group, the people who have the marina, and the, and the slips, the boat slips, that's a separate group of owners. So if you uh, uh, bought a slip there, or possibly leased one, then uh, 
that's the kind of thing that many boat owners want to do. Beautiful kitchen. Let's take a quick look out back. We have multiple accesses to these porches, as you'll see. And the view from the living dining room and from this porch is out across this beautiful lagoon, which is aerated. That's what those fountains are to control algae and mosquitoes. Beautiful day here on February 13th. Temperatures in the high 60s today. We're having such a beautiful winter here. And getting back to the home, look at this fenced yard. You have a fenced yard here, perfect for having a, a pet or just for the beauty of having a fence. Now these types of homes are sometimes called patio homes. The lot itself is small, just a little over a tenth of an acre. It means that there's really not much to keep up with, but what you have hopefully would be uh, enjoyable, such as this quote unquote secret garden, or let's just call it a private garden, with some brick walkways there and a fountain. Your entrance to the garage, looking back towards our front, which is also the side porch entry. And when we get up to the second or third bedroom up there, you see you have another outside porch on the second floor that has an entrance from both the second and the third bedrooms. Here again is our kitchen area, which they have set up with a, a seat, which could be a breakfast table, of course. Very sunny, catches the sun beautifully. These arched windows that are sequenced through the house bring in a lot of light above the already large windows. They make them floor to ceiling windows, I guess you could say. And the glass front cabinets are very attractive. Beadboard doors. You have the one level granite topped island here with the breakfast bar. Stainless steel pulls and handles, stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. And a closer look at the wood floor. It is a pine floor that goes throughout the dining room, the living room area here. Again, the furniture is not included, but we have three large floor to ceiling clusters across the back, letting in light. What a great look this house has. So warm. Built ins left and right of the Fireplace, I like the uh, half moon and palmetto tree detail in the woodwork above both of the built-ins. The fireplace itself is a real wood-burning fireplace with a granite surround. And the wood floor just rounds out the interior Details here, the stairway going up to the second floor. We'll go there in just one moment. But heading back across the foyer to the front of the house, we have a desk, which would be your home office, making this a great room. That is a marble top and a built-in desk. Coat closet at the interior. Under, under stairway storage here to the left. And our master bedroom is on the first floor with the private bathroom at the front. Your walk-in closet is over to the left. It is large. And then our bathroom has its focal point with the soaking tub and the large window directly over there. To the right, our commode is behind the door and our shower has the floor to ceiling tiles. We have a dual vanity. And that is here. Cultured marble top. We have a tiled floor. 
cultured marble top with the dual basin, the framed mirrors. Double French doors coming into our bathroom. This is our master bedroom and master bathroom, ladies and gentlemen, on the first floor of this home. Again, this home is just $465,000. I said I would, while we head upstairs, I'll just tell you a bit about the market here. Today, the homes for sale in Windmill Harbor range from $400,000 59,000, which is the low price for sale today, up to $2,300,000. Those homes here for sale average $994,000, 192, 994, 192. Now the average size of a Windmill Har Harbor home is 3,408 square feet. So granted it is larger than this home, which has 1,897 square feet. But with the low price <laughs> for sale today being $459, you can see why we're here. Uh, uh, some people get very emotional about Windmill Harbor. They love it. And everybody likes to get a good price, a good deal. Well, that's what I think this house represents. By the way, those numbers come from our multiple listing service that requires this disclaimer that you're not relying on the numbers for any buying decision. And it's not representative of any fact whatsoever. So having done that bit of housekeeping, statistically, we can move on. This is our front second floor bedroom. Everything here is high quality, ladies and gentlemen. Um, people who move to Windmill Harbor are uh, people who have higher standards than some other folks, I guess you could say, in terms of the style and quality. Of course, they're willing to pay a higher annual fee than some communities, $2,736 a year. And this porch has an entrance from the third bedroom as well. And we'll go there now. <coughs> and this uh, bedroom leads through that door into the hallway bathroom which is here that is a Corian top with the integral basin the white cabinet once again the tile floor similar to what we saw downstairs fiberglass tub and shower we have wood panel doors with some lever handles here that door takes you into that second bedroom with the beautiful porch access. This is our second full bathroom. The house has two and a half bathrooms. A little sitting area here at the top of the stairs. And I tried to indicate while I was quoting some statistics, we have two skylights that illuminate the stairwell. We don't like dark interior stairwells. Woo! Got to get focused there. We don't like dark interior stairwells. We like... Uh, Oh, we like to see a focused picture too. There we go. All right. We like illuminated stairwells and we have that in this home. This is our third bedroom. It's being used as a bit of an office or a studio. It also has the doorway to that second floor balcony. Good sized room. Flat ceilings, ceiling fans are in many of these rooms. Our laundry is here. And I'll double check to see if the washer and dryer is included. I'm not sure. The wash bin is a definite plus for many people. And having a walk-in attic, another luxury feature, much better than a pull-down stairway or a hatch. We have a floored attic area here for storage, and you can see that this is useful certainly for this owner. I'm sure it would be for you too. Now the seller is a licensed South Carolina real estate agent. So it's important that I disclose that. That's required in both the listing and in the contracts. So I'll just make a, notion, uh, a note of that. And that pretty much completes our tour. We've seen the house, talked about the different details. I'm sure there's more that we could talk about. 
I would invite you to call me. Let's talk. Let's get acquainted and learn so that I can learn more about what you're looking for in a home and community here on Hilton Head Island or in Bluffton, South Carolina. Here's my contact information, Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company, Go Gated Realty, my cell number, 843-684-2933. That's 843-684-2933. And my email, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. And my website is gogated.com. Again, I don't work for Windmill Harbor. I don't work for the Simon Group. I'm a buyer's agent. And that means that I work for you, ladies and gentlemen, with the right agreement, of course, which is easy to do because I'm paid by the commission, which is already in the price of this home and any other listing or a new build that we would talk about. I'm only paid if you buy and when you close. So it doesn't cost you anything more to have a buyer's agent on your side. And of course the commission that I earn, it's the same whether you decide to work with me with 41 years of local Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience, or if you decide to take your chances with whoever's out there that answers the phone. <laughs> I don't mean to get uh, too snarky but you know experience helps it, it helps to, to get things right and to purchase with confidence I, I think it is a no-brainer to say that having a good buyer's agent on your side is uh, can be very helpful with advice that you can trust and I'm here for that there's many ways that I help my buyers it could be a lot it could be a little it could be in saving you a lot of money or just giving you peace of mind and information and advice that you can trust. I certainly invite you to call me. Let's talk. Let's learn more about what you're looking for in a home and a community. So thank you for watching. I certainly enjoyed showing you this house today at 35 Cross Tree Drive, listed for $465,000. And I look forward to talking to you about your real estate needs. So please call if you like this video. There are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching.